Hello, Candice. How are you? Hi, Candice. Hi, Anne. Hi, Christopher. How are you both? We're great. Thank you so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. Oh, Absolutely. delighted. Delighted. I am, too. I've been so excited to chat with you both. That's so great. Can you tell us about your new novel, Ramsey's the Dam, The Passion of Cleopatra? Well, I, I think it would best be described as a great, thrilling, adventurous, supernatural love story. Yeah, what do you absolutely. think? <laughs> I think that's a good description. Uh, you know, in 1989, uh, Mom published a book called The Mummy of Ramses the Damned. It was incredibly popular, and I think the only reason, and she'll correct me if I'm wrong here, but the only reason that uh, there wasn't a sequel immediately, since the book ends with a cliffhanger, is because her next book was The Queen of the Damned, which was her first number one bestseller, and it put the yeah. vampire Lestat really on the literary map. And nobody in publishing wanted to talk about poor Ramses. They wanted to talk about <laughs> Lestat. So it's taken 30 years to sort of get the time and the headspace to uh, do the sequel, but the sequel has been very much in demand. I mean, I, I was present for my entire life at book <laughs> events where people were coming up to the signing table saying, when is Ramsey's coming back? Yeah. So I, when she invited me to collaborate with her on this, I was really, I was really thrilled by the opportunity. And I think that um, yeah. our goal was, even though it was a collaboration, to produce a worthy successor to the original that mm -hmm. was a seamless reading experience. We didn't want people to pick it up and say, oh, Anne wrote that chapter and Christopher wrote this chapter. Yeah. And how and when did you decide that you wanted to write this book together? Oh, well, just a few years ago. I don't yeah. know exactly what year it was, but uh, I really wanted to do the sequel and I didn't know where to start. And I thought, well, maybe Christopher would really like to collaborate on this. We had worked together on a screenplay for Universal Studios mm -hmm. based on the vampires. Chris wrote it, but I functioned as a producer. And I thought maybe we could really do this novel together and he'd bring some fresh perspective here. And he mm -hmm. did. Yeah. It was a couple of years ago, you know. It takes yeah. a while for New York to publish a book. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure. What was the process like? Well, you know, every collaboration is different, and I think the collaborators have to decide what's going to work best for them. What we decided worked best for us was we would have intensive creative meetings to outline the beats yes. of the plot. And then I would go off and write a complete draft, and then I'd bring that draft back to Mom, and she would really pull it apart, and we would talk about, uh, you know, what was working and what wasn't working, and what most importantly needed to be in there for the tone and the atmosphere and the mood to be consistent with the previous book in the series. Right. And I think that demonstrated a lot of faith on her part uh, to let me go off and write those drafts on my own. But those creative meetings we had were pivotal and they were very intensive. And I think that, you know, it's, it's I have writer friends who will write each page of the book together and I don't I can't I don't know how they do that they'll yeah, use what like, do they do I they mean, use like a Google document on <laughs> oh, the internet yeah. which okay. is like cloud computing uh -huh. and one friend will see the other friend go in and start to change what they've written I don't think either one of us could stomach no, that no I don't think we could take that but we yeah. found the process that worked best for us yeah that's that true. sounds incredibly difficult <laughs> <laughs> well you know when you writing is an obsessive compulsive trait you know and I think if you you either have it or you don't. And I'm not talking about talent or gift or all those things which can be incredibly subjective. What I mean is you either have the obsessive drive to put your daydreams and fantasies down on paper or you don't That's have the true. drive. Yeah. And I think things that seem difficult to other people to us are just like ventilation of our souls. That's true. Absolutely. And do you think you'll collaborate on another novel? Yes. Oh, I'm sure. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. We will. Absolutely. Well, and as you mentioned, fans have been waiting 28 years for the sequel to The Mummy. They must be so excited. What are you hearing from readers? Well, so far it's gone very, very well. I mean, there'll always be somebody out there who really hates it, you know, and, and we've seen a couple of those very negative reviews, but by and large it's been very, very positive. We've had a wonderful response. Yeah, absolutely. And I think the response yeah. is the most important to me is they can't tell who wrote what. That's Which, great. Yeah, again, that can. was like our, our major goal was to create this seamless reading experience. And the people who have tried to guess the authorship of individual chapters have been totally wrong, totally which has wrong. been fun to see. Yeah. That's amazing. And do you have any additional information like to share with your fans and your readers? Yeah, absolutely. Anyone who wants a signed copy of, of uh, Ramsey's The Dam, The Fashion of Cleopatra can order one over the Internet from a wonderful bookstore in Arizona called Changing Hands. Their website is changinghands.com. Go there and just put in the keyword rice, and uh, we're taking orders for personalizations. We'll sign your, our, your book to you. 
uh, when we're in the store next week. This offer is going to be good up through December 5th, and then we'll have our in-store event there on December 6th. So, and they ship pretty much anywhere in the world. So it's a great, it's a wonderful store, and it's a great offer. That's wonderful. It seems like a great holiday gift. I hope so. That would be great. Yeah, that would yes. be great. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much, Anne. Thank you so much, Christopher. I truly appreciate you taking time out of your busy schedule to speak with me today. Of Have course. a great afternoon and best of luck with the book. Thank you so thank much. You. Take care. Thank you. You too. Bye-bye. Okay.